New drivers this year from TaylorMade, the QI10 drivers. We have three models today to test. We have Kevin here to hit some shots, and we're going to tell you everything that you need to know about the TaylorMade QI10 drivers. Golfers, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, you like this video, and then tell us in the comments what you think of the TaylorMade QI10 drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft here at the Minnetonka Tour Van. TaylorMade QI10 drivers is the name of the game in this video. A um, lot different than Stealth or Stealth 2 in yes. terms of the aesthetics and the look. Yes. They've also changed up some things in their technology, uh, but I got to ask first, this is what I do in every one of these string reports, Kevin, I got to ask what your first impression is when you look at these clubs. There's going to be a lot of happy people. Yeah. Yes, there are going to be a lot of happy people. The, the look and the fit and finish on these is so good. There was a lot of, eh, I would say, pushback on the red, the red yeah. face. Uh, I didn't mind it. I like the color red. Got no issues there. Uh, this just looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a, I mean, technically, I think that's actually a dark blue yeah. uh, on the face. And it's, it's almost black. Looks great. Uh, the, in, the now infinity, yeah. cr uh, infinity crown, carbon crown is just so good. Mm -hmm. I was never a huge fan of the of the line on the top. Yeah, it's gotten smaller through the years. Now it's just vanished. Yep, and, and it it's just clean. It looks great. fantastic. Yes. So, so you good. mentioned the Infinity Carbon Crown. It's yep. the obviously the the much cleaner look, but also yep. saved them some weight. Redistributed it to you mm -hmm. know, perimeter and, and important pieces to improve that MOI and forgiveness. Um, uh, also, kind of they updated the carbon face. So they yes. obviously the past with Stealth the whole. Key messaging was the carbon face yes. and um, being different than titanium. Um, they made it more durable. They adjusted the way that it kind of attaches to yes. the sort of titanium ring on the outside there to make it more stable, make it last longer. Um, they are very confident that the QI-10 is going to be a lot more durable than yeah. Stealth and Stealth 2, which may have been a concern for players out there in the past yes. that were having issues with that. So that's a key piece they needed to improve on, and they did. And good on them for for taking that under advisement and and putting the tech into it that's hopefully going to allow that yep. to be. Uh, they actually did say they picked up a little bit of ball speed with that. Yeah, too, yeah. So. because uh, of the the change that they made, yeah. it made it a little more flexible on the, yes. I guess, on the outside Perimeter. of the face, yep, sure. and which will improve the spring effect, if you yep. will. So um, we've got those um, key elements there. And of course, there's, there's past elements as well, the speed pocket, things like mm -hmm. that. Also of note, the Q i10 ls model also mm -hmm. has the sliding weight which is a lot smaller than in the past it is. typically it's kind of gone almost from the entire yeah. you know heel to the toe this yep. is a lot smaller so probably not as much of an effect but still there to optimize the ball flight there absolutely um also the speed pocket is is in you know all three models yep. um you know there's, there's the technology is pretty similar from past years yeah. you still have this kind of you know inertia generator weight in the yep. back too so it's all there but it's been sort of repackaged and refinished with QI10 with updates, colors and, and graphics. Yes. 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 So um, am I missing anything else here, Kevin? Is there anything else that you wanted to touch on before we start swinging? So gone is the HD from yes. last year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's what the max now is. Yeah. Um, that's an important clarification too, because there's been in the past, like say SIM max, SIM two max. That yes. was more of the high MOI standard model right. in those two series. Right. Um, so now to have the Max be sort of the most forgiving model yeah. um, is important to, yeah. to note there as well. Yep. So, so. Um, speaking of the QI10 Max, let's start with that one. Okay. Let's start with that one and let's hit some shots. Okay. All right, Kevin. Okay. QI10, that is the Max. It and the uh, max. you mentioned you're gonna have them all at 10 degrees? Nine. Nine degrees. Nine degrees. Okay, all at nine degrees. Yep. And um, what shaft too? Is that the Kylie? So yeah, I just I wanted to be able to put a shaft that I'm really happy and comfortable with sure. in all these heads, just to try to get the most out of them. Yep. So I put the the Kylie White 60s in there. I, I love, love that. I love this shaft. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's, that's it's uh, that's that's what we love to see. So, yeah. all right. Well, well, we'll start here. QI. Okay. I'm very excited for this. I mean, any it's, new TaylorMade drivers. What's not yeah. to be excited about? Absolutely. Um, the Max is pretty big looking. Yeah, 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 it is. It looks like a it looks like a big old driver. Mm. Um, if you're somebody that you know wants as big a looking club as possible, so that you feel good about 
what you're about to do, this is this is gonna be a good one because it looks pretty looks large footprint. Pretty large. Yep. 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 For sure. I've been saying thumbprint all day. You're right. It's footprint. Thumbprint works. Footprint. It's the same idea, you know. It, yeah. Yeah. I guess so. The footprint's just a little bigger. Yes. It's a good start. Not a bad start. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Not with that ball speed. Just leaking. That's a little better. There it is. That's a little better. Closer to those numbers I was talking about. <laughs> what, what were your numbers? 268 and 295, I think. <sighs> so, I'm so close. That was close. That yeah. was really well done. Well, we've seen that I can't necessarily deliver shot over shot, but you know, you give me some shot. You shots, get there. You will uh, get there. You know, yeah. 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 We should maybe also add some context as to uh, the fact that this is, it is about our time, 3.30, as we're filming. We have been filming videos since nine o'clock this morning, pretty yes. much nonstop with the exception yeah. of lunch. So yeah. um, Kevin, a lot has of, a, lot of shots. Kevin has swung a lot t of times today. Yeah, yeah. Just starting to get loose, Drew. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna like this one, I think. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little curvy. It, it's, it's drawing more than you typically draw it, but that's yep. not a huge surprise. But the, the shot itself was okay. Uh, see if I can put one more good swing on here. There we go. That had some ball There's speed. Some ball speed and some. Ooh, 300. He got it. There we go. 300 yards total, 273 on the carry. We got a couple to remove here. We can get the best five from okay. each driver, starting sure. with the QI10 Max. Thoughts good. on that driver? How about the feel of that one? Feels good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's very solid. Um, you know the sounds sounds good. It doesn't, you know, just like last last generation. It doesn't feel like a carbon face. You, you, you never noticed that it yeah. was that it was a carbon face. So well, that's a good thing. I mean, um, yeah, yeah. It feels. It feels fast. It's good. Yeah. 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 Pretty good stuff here. Um, Spin rate was good. Yeah. Um, heights fine. Good. Mm -hmm. Fine. Could be a little higher. Could be, but 34, 33 to 37 is what my, I consider my perfect range for, for landing, landing angle. angle. So, you know, we're, we're well within there. Uh, 2300 is a great spin rate. It was consistent. Yeah. 265 carry 293. You know, I'm not at my, I'm not at my peak. I'm about to get back into the super speed sticks. See if I can get some, some more swing speed going. Kind of a mm -hmm. kind of a recharge. There you go. I uh, I haven't done them since 2021. So, we'll uh, we'll see if I can get a little more speed as we go forward here. I like it. Yeah. Well, you got plenty of speed as it is. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, not bad. Not I'm, I'm fast, not suffering, but, but you know. But all right. I like being able to, to jump up there and have my playing yeah. speed be 108, 109. So, yeah, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. QI10. Yes, standard model. Okay, that's a, that'd be this one. This, this one. The look on his face, studying. There's a little bit of a difference in the sweep from from the bottom, from the base, to the back, up here. It moves out and around a little bit more here. Yeah. So, you know, from a we it's probably we know they're the bit. same size. Right? Yeah. Well, we, yeah. We know they're the same a size. A little more weight towards the heel. Yes. With the max, which makes yes, sense. Yes. Correct. So. I'm not going crazy. At least not quite yet. No. Yeah. All right. Would never um, do that. I expect maybe a little left, less left. Less left. Less left okay. than we saw last time. Though most of that was probably just me. So. That's the that is of, less left. That's the kind of turn I'm really looking for. I'm a push drawer, so let's start it just over there a little bit and let it come back about a little bit. Or it can start over there and just keep going. That one's probably right on top of the last one. Hey. That is a pretty similar golf shot. It is. 
You know what? This might be a pretty tight dispersion. Eh, not quite. Eh, last two. It is less left. I, I will. I think it is right definitely left. less left. Less left did not necessarily have to mean more right, though. <laughs> There it is. There we go. Corrected it. A little more spin. Yeah. But... Finally got one to turn over though. That's good. I'd love to see that one at 2000 RPM. Let's see right here. Ooh, that could be it. That could be it. Ooh. Okay. Almost. Turning it over now. Yep. Is it going to stay straight? Yes, it is. There is much higher spin on this. A little than, spinny. I mean, oh. see, if we hit a couple more if we want to, but I was just going to, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's pretty consistent fine. though, too. Yeah. It's in the 25s to 27s with occasionally up to this last one was a little bit higher, but. Yeah. Um, I think we can throw out the first one because it's a couple miles an hour slower than the rest. Yeah, I suppose. I just on need one, one swing to get my back up to, back up to speed there. Wow, I'm really surprised to see that spin rate. I will. Here, I'm going to try something. A little bit yeah, low. Yeah. That'll yeah, do it. That'll do there it. it is. It's, re it's <laughs> reading impact location. There a little it is. Bit low. Quick physics lesson on driver faces. Let's do it. Okay. We're talking about quadrants here? Yes. Yeah. So anytime up, you catch a ball. i on screen here. Okay. Yeah. So anytime you catch a ball to the heel side of the vertical center line, we are typically going to see more spin. Yep. Anytime you catch a ball south of the horizontal center line, we're typically going to see more spin. This right here, I call the quadrant of death. This is where tee shots go to die. <laughs> we're going to get the most spin and the least amount of ball speed. Now, there are exceptions to this rule because if you slam the club face shut and catch it down here, you can still see lower spin. Yeah. It's just not where you want to hit it. In our perfect world, our impact location is going to be right here. Just barely, gonna, barely high toe. Just barely high toe. It's going to push the spin down and ball speed comes up. It is, it's traditionally on, on drivers for years and years and years. The, the best place to hit it has spot. been a little bit high toe. That has not changed in the entire time. Even with all the technology that's gone into these golf clubs, that is still the best place to hit it. So the reason why we saw 2,600 here yep. versus 2,300 here is simply in the impact location. Yep. Right. So the, the so, ball, the QI, the QI 10 standard model, you're hitting a little bit below the equator, yep. higher spin. You click on the QI 10 max shots. So, you're in that money zone. Yeah. So I could tell yeah. if I've got a customer that's hit, that's, that's here and they're a little bit bothered by that spin rate. You can go to the impact location. Yeah, tell absolutely. Them the it's reason. like, look, here's, here's, this is, you know, if this is a day where you're not at your absolute best and obviously at this exact second, I'm not at my absolute best. Um, <laughs> you know, what we can expect going forward when that impact location location changes is we're going to see that lower spin. Yep. So, yeah. Well, I like, I mean, that's pretty good explanation. And, and golfers, if you uh, take anything away from, you know, aside from the information about the QI 10 drivers today that you're learning, take that away as well. Yeah. Um, impact location on drivers. It's a big deal. And yep. if you're going to miss anywhere, maybe, maybe miss slightly high till. Yes. Um, but I do want to mention how consistent the distance was. Well, that's good. QI 10. That part's good. You know, yep. You may have not been hitting it exactly where you want to on the club face, but despite that, your carry distances were very consistent here. We're talking about 271, yeah. 72, 72, 71, 67.5, 66.8. So pretty good. Yeah, not hateful, pretty good. for sure. Not hateful. Pretty good there. So, so yeah. now we can get to the LS model. LS. Okay. All right. QI 10 the LS. The ultimate. The ultimate. Yep. So that is a nine degree driver now. So last yes. couple were 10 and a half that you went down to nine with. Yes. Is this at nine or did you move this down? This is at nine. Okay. Truth be told, I set it on the upright setting and I threw this weight all the way in the heel. Okay, so you're trying to still make sure I it turns. I still want this thing to turn okay. over. I, I don't want it to go left, but I also don't want it to go right. Okay. So um, this would be the most right biased driver in yeah. this in oh, this it, it line is. right yep. so and i don't want to say anti-left yeah but i also don't want to say you know necessarily like 
Right. Yeah, it's just going to go right on you. I do remember notoriously the TaylorMade Sim from 2020 was a very fade bias type driver. Like, I mean, it was so good. very good driver for so sure. Good. But it was, oh. if you didn't already hit a fade, it probably helped you fade it, which, yeah. is, which is a controllable oh, driver. Oh, if you wanted to fade a ball, yeah. pick you up an M5 Tour. Or that. that thing flopped open like you were trying to hit a flop shot. <laughs> like that was as anti-left as a golf club could be. That is the, I believe, yeah, that's the driver that uh, Tiger won Augusta with. Is that right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. That thing just, it just set it down and just rolls. So. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, lower okay. launch, lower spin. Okay, that's okay. That's Approximately okay. lower spin, we don't yeah. know for sure. It's all right. That might hang out, it might come back. It uh, kind it's of both. coming back. It hung out there, but it also kind of came back. Okay. Yeah. It's both. Yep. Well, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with 298.2 in the fairway. Yeah, that's uh, most people would be. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to complain too much about that. A little bit of a miss. Really? Yep. Doesn't look like it to me. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Does this club feel any different than the other two or no? It feels a little firmer. It does, okay. Yep. That kind of makes it does, sense. It does feel a little firmer. Good swing, Kevin. Thanks. Good one. One foot of height. Uh, Th this bay is haunted. We're getting ghost swings. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Woo. You keep you keep knocking on the door of 300. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh. Is there anything else we need to do here? Mm, no. No. I think that's probably. I mean, you can keep hitting as long as you want. I mean, I mean let, me, got, let me give it one uh, more. I'm really watching it. I'm gonna give this. I mean, the... you got two feet of curve on that one. If you can get a zero feet of curve here, I'll I'll uh, I'll buy your first beer. Zero feet of curve. That's going to have curve. It's going to get 160 ball speed, though. Ooh. Yeah. 1085. All right, let's, let's, see, let's see if I can go higher. All right, we're going to see. Let's we're see if I can go see how... That was my fastest swing speed of the day. I just didn't have any height. That's going to go left, but it's higher speed. 1095. 162.1 okay. on the club speed. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There we go. Carry. Okay. All right, now I'm done. Now you're done. Okay. <laughs> now I'm done. All right. I needed to know that that was in there. Yeah. Because I felt like it was in there, but I have not. It has not presented itself today at all, really. So yeah. All right. We're gonna take out just a couple of these here. This is probably also a little lower. Okay, how about this one? Where's this one at? That's, that's fine. Ball. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Everything else is good. Yeah. QI 10 LS. We let Kevin go after a couple there at the end, but the, overall the club speed average here we have is actually about the same. So this is yep. a, it'll be good to work with this. Yep. Um, your thoughts on these numbers as they're presented here? You average almost 300 yards. So LS. Yeah, lost almost four yards of carry because I didn't get a ball up in the air. Yeah. If I'm fitting me, I got to go up and loft. Yeah. That's just the the. The, the, the way it's going to have to be. And I'm okay with that, right? Mm -hmm. As long as I'm not, as long as I'm still getting good numbers like that, I got, I got no issues, but I would like to be able to carry it to 74. Right. Versus... Because you're, I know, I know you, it, it carry distance is more important than total. I mean, yeah, it really the golf is. Course, the carry yeah. distance is going to be more of a factor. I mean, I got bunkers. I want to hit it over. Yep. I got corners. I want to hit it over. Sometimes there's a Creek. I want to hit it over. So yeah. Um, launch angle came down need to get that launch angle back up again. Um, you know, club path was right in the middle. Yep. Face angle was actually in a really good spot. Well, what was the dispersion? All right, so dispersion was actually really pretty good. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Go to, go to total, go to total. Yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> I, like, I like this guy. 
Yeah, I, I know you do. I like that. That was. And I'm also shot okay there. with these guys over here. Anything that's over that line. I mean, is, is realistically, if you look at this, this is a fairway, and this isn't the widest fairway by any means. No, no, it's not. You have one here, and again, we did take out like the worst ones. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. you know matters a little bit. I bad guess, swings but, are always going to be but bad swings. At right? least so, you know yeah. that when you make a good swing, which is most of the time, ball's going to be in the fairway. Yeah. That's, yeah. And, and now this, you can trust that with this one of the club. reasons why I like this graphic so much is mm -hmm. this is the you know the, we are essentially standing on Titleist TPI out in, yeah. in Carlsbad, right? So it's a legit fairway. Yeah, I know. It's not the you know it's not the country club driving range that that's available. Right. Right. So we get we get a much more realistic scenario when we're hitting drivers. Yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, let's see. Any other notes? that you have from looking at this data for the QI 10 drivers here. I mean, they're all really explosive. They're all very fast. Yeah. Um, you know, we will good. do some more comparisons in the future, comparing maybe stealth two to this and, and vice yeah. versa. You know, we have that that we got to do as well, but what was my impact location on the LS? That's a yeah. good question. I like that. We're asking that we already talked about it with. All okay. right. So you kind of split cool. the difference between the two. Yeah. Yeah. So on the max, you were a little bit higher toe yep. QI 10. You were sort of low, a lower, yeah. but this was still the lowest spinning. So yeah. I think that tells you something, Yeah. right? Yeah, that's what this head's designed to be. Yeah. So this is gonna have some effect. Yeah. Impact's gonna have some effect, right? Oh yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. The, the sum of all things is what we're looking for exactly. in, these, in our fittings. Exactly, and then the re end result is a better tee shot, uh, better tee shots for the player, so. This is markedly different from an aesthetic standpoint and Overall, I think it feels better. I think the sound is a little different. Um, a little bit. You know, maybe a little bit higher pitch, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, you know, I threw the weight in the heel, didn't really have any trouble squaring this thing up. No. Um, you know, I've got it set for max draw everywhere I, I can go, but that's just countering its its natural tendencies. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This really is good a, stuff. I think this is a winner. Yeah, this I think very good. QI 10 is going to be a big winner in yeah, 2024. I so. really think yeah. it will be. This is this is the driver that this is the line that Taylor Maids wanted since Sim. I think so. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kevin, testing complete. Taylor yes. made QI10 drivers. Um, fantastic stuff in the testing. Yep. Um, I mean, any other notes that you might have before we dive into each individual model? Here? So, you know, we tested everything with the same shaft this time, which is yeah. our process for, for when we're doing fittings, right? We want to mm. keep things as, as close as physically possible. Yeah, to be right. And sometimes it's across. a bond the house and we can't um, make any changes. Yeah. But today we could. There is one thing I, I, I think we should mention, and that's, you know, they have a, a new shaft from Fujikura. It's a Speeder NX. Uh, it's their torque control system shaft, mm -hmm. 50 grams, and it's... You know, typically lighter shafts tend to have higher torque. Yep. And what they've discovered is that that doesn't always work mm -hmm. best for people. Uh, when we were looking for a shaft that's gonna, you know, in a head that's designed to help try to square the club face up, they've made this a little a lower torque shaft at, okay. the, at the tip. So that's gonna be something that we can introduce into our fittings. Some new tech, new shaft technology, right? Head technology yep. is always changing. So is shaft technology. So yeah. it's important that we do talk about these things and it's important that your fitter talks about it too as they try to manage to get you exactly what you're looking for right. out of your fitting. And I think, I mean, I think the shaft was mostly designed for the QI-10 Max, Correct. but obviously could be implemented yes, into any of these. Yes, um, absolutely. But speaking of the QI-10 Max, let's start there as okay. to the type of golfer that will best benefit this model here. Yeah, so the Max is going to have the most uh, directional correction, right, from, from uh, right to mm -hmm. left. And so somebody that does have a tendency to, to hang that ball out to the right, this one's probably going to be in the mix, Yep. right? Um, it's going to be the most forgiving of the group. And um, yeah, it's a yeah. It, it's a it's a it's a driver anybody could hit for sure. Right. There's there's no issues there. It's just uh, mm -hmm. it's definitely a bit different in its in its construction. I'm now seeing. Uh, I, yeah. I didn't look. This that looks like this kind of this little uh, you know the inertia generator yeah. type of device is a little bit towards the heel a little bit more. It a little is bit lower. Yes. So right. So there is a, there is some bigger correction. Yeah. There sure. is some correction there yep. through that. Um, the QI10 standard now. Yeah. yeah. The um, you know, it's probably going to fit most people. Most right? players. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, vast majority of players are probably going to go into something like this. It's a, it's a high MOI head. Mm -hmm. 
probably, I'd call it Switzerland, right? There's yeah. not as much draw bias on this one as there is on the Max. Um, it's certainly not like it's it's LS right, brother no, yeah. that's, that's more right side mm -hmm. biased. Um, but you can kind of see how that shape is a oh little yes, more neutral. It is, yep. yeah, distinctly, distinctly different in the back. And mm -hmm. for some reason, I never even noticed it until until we yeah, yeah. set it down. Yeah. There. Like, wow, that's really pretty angular. Yeah. Yep. So cool, cool stuff there. Um, and then we've got the, the we've got the LS. QI10 head. LS. Yeah. yeah. This is the one that you'll probably see in most tour players' bags. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, typically, not always, but typically higher spin play, or higher speed players. Possibly higher spin players too. Yep. Uh, this is going to attack that spin rate a little bit. Uh, we've got some nice adjustability. It's always these tour heads that you get all the adjustability, all the bells and whistles, yep. so that we can dial it into that very last uh, last degree. Um, really great stuff. I, I just I can't get yep. over how good these look mm -hmm. compared to previous generations. Yeah, it's, I, I think a I mean, lot look, of we can we can see ourselves oh, on there. Oh, yeah, there we go. There Hi, we are. Drew. Yeah, yeah. They, um, they, they've done a really good job cleaning up everything. Yes. Um, and I know I'm always a big fan of matte driver finishes. Yep. And so that's my kind of go-to default and what mm -hmm. I prefer. But I do like how clean these look. Yes. Um, I think Taylor has done a really good job. I think a lot of people are going to be drawn to these a lot more than in the past. Yes. Just bring a an extra very fine towel to clean off all the, the fingerprints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that will be. That, I think you'll be doing that for sure. I will be so, doing that. Yes. Um, Taylor made QI10 drivers. Um, really good reviews here from Kevin and really good performance in the testing. So schedule the fitting for yours today. Schedule that fitting at secondscreen.com. Get with someone like Kevin that can dial you in. Make sure you're hitting longer, straighter, farther, um, more consistent tee shots. I think anything else that better. characterizes these better, better, better. tee shots. Yeah. Um, schedule that fitting. Stay tuned for more content on the TaylorMade QI10 drivers coming soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Kevin, for doing all the testing today. My pleasure.